Hello ladies and gents, welcome to this video. This video is all about the Canon EOS R6's overheating on firmware 1.1.1. Canon just released uh, two days ago the firmware version 1.1.1 and I was very curious to see if there has been any improvement on the overheating aspect of the Canon EOS R6. So I have been testing for the last two days um, and here are my results. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. At first, uh, a couple of things that you have to keep in mind right off the bat is that you need to consider the room temperature or the amb ambient temperature that is around uh, when you're filming on this R6. So first, I was filming indoors, control temperature, but I didn't want to turn on the AC here uh, indoors it was 85 degrees. First test, like I was saying, is the the, the 36 minutes, 4K, 24 frames per second. Um, camera overheated, shut down. I waited for another 10 minutes. That's a 15 minutes. I waited for 15 minutes to the, for the camera to cool down, and then uh, I was able to record another 15 minutes before the camera overheated again and shut down. And then I waited another 15 minutes and I was able to record another 15 minutes of 4K 24 frames per second. This has been the process in the first test, initial test. 36 minutes non-stop. Uh, there's a timer though for, you cannot continue to record uh, more than 30 minutes. That's at 29 minutes and 59 seconds. Canon, please remove that. I still was not satisfied with it, so I thought about it. And uh, YouTube, the No Live Digital, the YouTube channel, did this with the uh, R5, um, the fan right next to the sensor on the side of the camera. And uh, he was able to get record 8K for a longer period of time. So I thought about it, so I got something. I got a, uh, I got a fan, a desk fan, or a, you can have a stand fan, whatever, and then, um, I put the fan right next to the sensor and this time I record it and with the fan on ambi uh, ambient temperature around 80 degrees or 78 to 80 degrees I was able to get in like close to an hour and two minutes so it's not like continuously you're gonna get an hour you're gonna have to stop at 30 minutes recording time and then you start it again and then you're gonna get another additional close to 30 another 29 minutes at 4k 24 frames per second before the battery died so the camera didn't die the battery died because i was testing back and forth with the 4k 60 and the 4k 24p so on average you're probably gonna get with a fan right next to it is uh 4k 24 frames per second an hour let's say an hour of uh, 4k recording and it's it's a little better it's, it's quite an improvement from it's a half an hour improvement from 36 minutes or 30 minutes that you were getting in the previous firmware version uh, that's where the, this thing gets interesting that's where I think the tilt a cage uh, the tilt the fan the cage with the fan comes comes into play I mean uh, probably there are gonna be a bunch of uh, another accessories that will uh, come out for this camera but that's the solution if you have a fan or if you can control the ambient uh, room temperature ambient temperature if it's 75 degrees 70 degrees you should be fine so now let's talk about 4k 60 frames per second at 83 degrees Fahrenheit I was able to record uh, 28 minutes and 10 seconds before the camera shut down and then again the same process you can cool down for uh, another 10 minutes and you're gonna get another eight minutes of uh, nine seconds at 84 degrees or 83 degrees of Fahrenheit so that's without the fan again the fan it helps uh, the fan improves the the recording times but I was not able to like get continuously like let's say 4k 60 50 minutes with a fan or 60 minutes with a fan or even 4k 24 frames per second um, an hour and a half even though with the firmware update if you format the memory card and if you do not you don't have anything on the memory card you see that the, the camera says 
or get 24 frames per second, you're probably gonna get two hours and 10 minutes. Uh, might be overestimating it. I didn't get it. I tried with two different slots too. Slot one, card slot two. That didn't help. I thought that might help. Anyways, I tried. So hopefully this gives you an idea that um, it is related with the, the former version 1.1.1 is related with uh, the ambient, ambient temperature, the room temperature. Um, yeah, so if, the fan, if you, the fan is cooling the sensor, that's my educated guess, you're probably gonna get, you can keep on rolling, you can keep on recording. That's, that might come in handy uh, if you're shooting continuously on this camera. Again, I will be doing more testing with this camera. Um, probably gonna take it out for uh, a run and gun kind of a shooting. Outdoors, probably gonna shoot some car, car videos. Who knows, or maybe outdoor videos and see if the camera overheats on a on a day sh a day shoot, like not continuously, but stop, start, stop, start. And probably will, it, 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 it will not overheat, or probably it will, but uh, I don't know, I'll test it out. But this is, an, uh, this is an initial testing that I did. Feel free to uh, let your, um, feel free to let me know what I did wrong or what I didn't do wrong or what I should be testing more. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any better numbers uh, considering that if, unless the temperature indoors goes down to below 70 degrees or 68. That reminds me that it's a, it can be a winter camera. Winter is coming. Um, all right, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you want more R6 content. Uh, I will be posting tons of stuff with this, maybe a comparison with the A7 III. R6, A7 III in video. I'll test the photo photo side of it too, but mostly for video. Um, and I'm actually looking at it right now. I did this whole interview thing, interview style talking head kind of video. It didn't give me the overhead warning and it's close to 30 minutes. 13 minutes, continuous. It's probably gonna stop and start and see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Take care.